Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. America's infrastructure is really showing its age. Some dams and levees built more than 50 years ago are now a threat to people who live near them. Nancy Cordes spoke to the mayor of one town living in the shadow of one of the country's largest dams. Tell me what we're looking at Okay, here. what we're looking at, the Cumberland River runs actually parallel with the city. The main street being the that runs parallel with the river is our main flow of traffic. Uh, the river will, should there be a breach, would slowly start rising toward Main Street. Uh, our first plan of evacuation would be Main Street to the river. And then as it goes up in the green area, uh, up to High Street would be our, our second evacuation. So looking at this map, so basically all of Main Street would be underwater? Correct. And how high would that water be? They had estimated about uh, 12 to 14 feet. We are actually the first city below the dam that's going to get hit the worst. You know, there's some uh, residential area above us, but we will get the first blow. If there was a break, what would happen? Okay, the, in about three hours, three point something, we would start having the river would be coming out of bank and then it, it goes on. We will have about eight hours that we will have time to evacuate everybody. 11 hours is when our last road would be closed. What would this do to your town? The worst case scenario, it would destroy the whole town. Like beyond rebuilding? Well, we, would, we wouldn't know that until it comes. A lot of the buildings are older buildings and you take water around them which would be uh, the estimated rundown time would be about 9.5 days to uh, 11 to 14 days. Just depends on how much debris got caught, how much the water got pushed back. So, you, you know, you got the water and then the runoff and then you got major cleanup, which is, is big. A lot of the older buildings that has been here for years, you know, the, the structures would, the water would do tremendous damage to those buildings. What did you think when they told you this? Well, our first thought, you know, we got to get everybody to safety. And we immediately started working on uh, those plans. Who do you blame for this? Well, you, you know, time, the, the dam was built, I think it was finished in, in the 50s, early 50s, you know. Uh, it's, it's just worn out, and uh, as far as blame, you know, we can't blame anybody. I'd like to say I think the Corps is doing a great job as far as keeping us informed, and they are working with us uh, on a daily basis.